sure he wanted to play better, but it is what it is. He'll be fine. Make or miss leads. Our, our shots will fall next time. <laughs> Empy's got the passion, focus, and preparation to be great. I won't worry about him at all. I'm sure it's not the game he wanted to have, but he's going to have a lot of opportunities to put his best foot forward. I believe in MP. I'm not gonna do my boy dirty like that. He had a bad game, but you know he the truth. You know what I'm saying? Have a great game, man. Let's get it. The lights. Let's go. Special, let's go. TM729 Gaming. It's special. I'm on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong side. My bad. in their finest, the Mavs as they came through the tunnel earlier on, ready to give their faithful fans plenty to cheer about tonight. It's Friday night, and live on 2K Sports, we're going to bring you the NBA in all its excitement. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. And so off the tip, it's Brooklyn. As a player, what's your main focus in these early stages of the season, Clark? You know, Kevin, I think the biggest thing no. is just building chemistry, getting a level of comfort with one another, learning tendencies and preferences. Chemistry is the key at this time of the season. They got me guarding Luka. He's got the I'm a rook. With one of the best, Luka Doncic in wow. this one. And this is the opening champ. The first time these two have ever played against one another in the NBA. They'll try to figure out a way to slow down oh. Luka tonight. Swatted everything. A giant point guard. So strong. Plays with great pace. He can shoot it, pass it. Shoot it get things done off the dribble. And even can play some bully ball on occasion. It's got to be a collective yeah. effort to Let's defend Doncic. Let's get it. There could be something of a feeling out process here. 
or maybe these teams feel confident in their preparation and are ready to just go at it. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. They've got Mitchell. Dorian Finney-Smith is out there with Cameron Johnson. Then it's Mikel Bridges. And it's Claxton wow. in at the center. And Greg, you look at the Hardaway knocked him down. of MV. It has to weigh heavily on him. Well, I mean, so much has been made about how he's the next big thing. And Kevin, very often, players don't live up to the hype. But if MP is half as good as people think wow. he'll be, this team has a star wow. on their hands. Boy, Brooklyn GA did all they could to assemble a championship team, and look what happened. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, you take your ah, strings in this league. Strings. Sometimes it works. Sometimes you have to retool, and they still have some good players to build around. And here is Mitchell after Luka Doncic hitting the three. Shoots over Doncic. In there. Go. Mitchell's shot is good. Mitchell's got five now. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. Irving passes to Doncic. Ah. No good with the triple. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. The shot ah, Mitchell, and, it no out. Good. and not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's ah, exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Let's go. For Brooklyn, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. In the corner, it's Bridges. Here's Finney Smith, and the three nice. ball is good. Smith. Finney Smith Let's doing go. what we've come to know he can do. Knock down that jumper with a smooth stroke. Looking at Dallas, they want to turn it around after the loss to the San Antonio Spurs. Moving against Bridges. What's up a three? Rebound, Brooklyn. And this is the first time they've matched up Go. with the Mavericks this year. And really an odd series between them a year ago as they couldn't get a win in either meeting. You know, God, so much can happen in a regular season with the ups and downs of the year, the travel, injuries, and all of that stuff. But they were just ah, at their out. best when they met. And it's Irving with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Trailing by two. Lock him down, lock him down. Kicks to Powell. Six to shoot. Hardaway from outside. Oh, long range jumper. Somebody guard them there. He's got his second bucket of the game to go. Encouraging to see Hardaway Jr. knock it down from there, proving he can do damage from this area. Offensive rebound. Whoa, he's just that. With the bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's Williams. No scoring in this one. Williams sets a screen for Irving. Fires from deep. A rebound by the Nets. Claxton's got four rebounds in this game. In terms of yeah. finishing ability, it, it's hard to think of someone who tops Kyrie Irving. Greg, the list is short, particularly when you talk about guys of his size, okay? His in there. Go. Oh! is limitless when you talk about finishing in close quarters ah. against bigger guys. Wow. There are a few that are in his class in that regard. You know, guys, you look at Doncic, and he has really good size for a wing, which helps him have his way against most defenders. Mitchell kicks to Finney Smith. Here's Johnson. It's in there. Let's go. The key. So, Cam. There's a minute 47 left to play in the first quarter. Bridges against Irving. Misses the three. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky. In there. Let's go. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And earlier in his career, Bridges was tentative about putting the ball on the floor. Not anymore. The Nets have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. In there. You know, success at the line just became contagious for them. A few guys got on a roll, and it carried over to the rest of the team. And some changes here for the Mavericks. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Powell. Josh Green comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. Wow, and in and out. In for Irvin. Then for the Nets, Brendan Watford. Dallas, 
Rashawn Holmes, he's checked in for Williams. And Irving subbed in for Doncic. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Brooklyn. Mitchell comes in for Johnson. And so it's Dallas with six-point lead. Green inside. He's against Bridges. A nice wow. shot by Irving. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc this quarter. Their percentage has been climbing steadily. Green is up there with Maxi Kleba. And there's Rashawn Holmes. Then there's Irving. And it's Hardy in at the two spot. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Here's Mitchell. Kleba. Ah, with in and out. Dallas leading by nine. What a special opportunity Dallas has with a generational talent, Clark, like Doncic. Yeah, I agree with you there. I mean, he's special. And I think the Mavs no. need to do something with his wow. presence in terms of building a competitive team around him because Doncic expects to be in the playoffs every season. Mitchell passes to Watford. Back to Mitchell. Over Irving. Ah. That one off the back iron and out. MP not getting to the shots that he's accustomed to. He's been locked down thus far. Another miss, and we may see his confidence really start to spiral. Mitchell kicks to Finney Smith. Bridges for Finna. three. Go. Carries it from three-point range. Really good pass from Finney Smith. He understands that you can't squeeze that orange if you've got somebody ready to catch and shoot. Outside Irving. Another miss by Irving. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep Linda. hoisting up these three. It might be time to get inside of that arc. A nimble inside play by Bridges, working his way to a close range shot. Irving surveying the floor. Takes the three. Another miss by Irving. You know, even though they have the lead, you can tell he's frustrated with himself that he's not doing more. Vinny Smith with it. He's picked up by Irving. Ah. No good from Vinny Smith. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Mavericks. They've led by as many as 11 points. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Here's Mitchell. Oh, and my the God. Goes to the Mavericks. They couldn't put Can't the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. What a duel that was. Exciting all the way to the end. Really a shame someone had to walk away with an L. I tell you, it's too bad one of them had to lose because I thought both teams were evenly matched in that game. No wow! One. Mavericks leading I by can't six. knock them down. This is horrendous. Irving for two. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. Irving's got nine points. Really starting to find himself now, guys, after getting shut out in the first quarter. And the first time out called of the game for Brooklyn. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. Powell, he's checked in for Rashawn Holmes. Grant Williams comes in for Maxi Kleba. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for Green. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Hardy. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for the Nets. Johnson Stop, comes in for Mikael Bridges. Finney Smith a threat both under the basket and way out beyond the arc. He's got great range. Come on. And here is Doncic. He's got 11. A three ball. It's hauled in by Claxton. Claxton's got rebound number five here tonight. Greg, here we are watching Claxton. Uh, who does he remind you of? Uh, you know, Kevin, defensively, he looks a lot like 80 out there. Similar builds, and, and Claxton can also handle the ball a little bit. Just want to see if this guy can develop an ability to play facing up to the basket. Mitchell passes to Finish. Smith. Go. Come on, come on. Get it in the by three. Here's ah! Can't hit from in close. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Mitchell kicks to Johnson. The Nets working the ball around now. The shot I'm by on! Mitchell, no good. 
And for the Mavericks, their shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Now, Doncic, he had a 36-point outing in the last game against San Antonio. Powell with a screen on Mitchell. Wow. They get it again. A second chance effort. Can't capitalize inside. Ah. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on it. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Mavericks lead by three. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. Greetings all, halftime is upon us and an entertaining game with the Dallas Mavericks battling away. Man, their fans are loving this one. As a player, man, you can feed off that positive crowd. It can help you build momentum, you know? It just gets your blood flowing and it's right tonight. We'll see if they can carry that energy into the second half, both the fans and the team. And moving along now, let's take a look at some upcoming matchups. Looking at Dallas, first game of the year was a big L. Tonight could be a different story. And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who has the second half call. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You have to like what you're seeing from Luka Doncic. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. So, well, you know, so the stroke looks fantastic. I got a hard Even cast when he's tonight. Had a hand in his face. Luka is a beast. It hasn't affected him at all. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. We've got Nicholas Claxton. Mitchell is out there with Mikel Bridges. Then there's Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Johnson no! with the small nice pass. And the dunk by Powell. I like Doncic's willingness to share the ball. He wants to see other guys involved in producing. Mitchell against Doncic. And it's Mitchell missing. Well, you've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Does that hold true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats, like turnovers wow. or offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Thank you, Kevin. The Nets have been forced to pivot from their star-crossed super team era. The what-ifs are fading into the rearview mirror. Now it's people like Mikael Bridges that are going to form the next ah. new era. And rest assured, this team has dug its way out of far worse. With the draft assets and two-way talent on the roster, their aim is to remain competitive. Kevin? I think they are. David, thank you for the report. Nets trail by eight. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Mitchell driving to the basket. Go, man. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. The only way he was getting to the hoop was to use the double clutch. And here's Doncic from the arc. Put wow. it on the triple. Doncic has got 17. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from DB either. So that's a double-edged sword there. Finney Smith passes to Mitchell. And oh, ah. boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. And so far, the story on Luka Doncic. Last season, he played outstanding. Oh, and he man. was also among the top 20 in steals. That ability is more unique than folks realize. Very valuable defensively. And seeing what he did last year, just blowing up the defensive schemes designed to keep him under control, man. As you said, second best score in the league. It was a beautiful thing to watch. And GA, this Nets team, kind of slim on the interior, don't you think? How can they no. be most effective? Well, you've got to press that advantage as far as quickness ah, and get that. out and run and challenge opposing bigs to cover you in space. Here's Irving. He's got nine. The three for Doncic. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. 
Irving's got I his gotta, third assist on the night. Incredible task by Evan. Brooklyn. I feel disrespected, Garden. Get this chance. Let's show you the league's most intimidating shot blocking defenses from last season. Number one, the Nets. And that defensive reputation has value in and of itself. I mean, by the end of the season, teams were afraid to take the ball inside. Doncic against Mitchell. In the corner, Finney Smith with it. And stolen by oh. Kyrie Irving. He's going to bet. Oh. Good three-point play chance here for him. Tip of the hat to Irving there. He ignited the break with this underappreciated part of his game. His defense, quick hands, help on both sides of the court. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And Clark, here we are watching Kyrie Irving when he's on. It is amazing to watch. Remarkably smooth as an athlete, Kevin, and otherworldly when you look at wow. his skills as a basketball player, particularly ball handling and shot making. Talking pure basketball, he's one of the most entertaining players of the last 30 years for sure. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Brooklyn. It's a 13-point game. Vinny Smith finds Bridges. Here's Claxton. Mitchell wide open. Ah, in and out. by Williams. Dallas with the ball. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Pass to Doncic. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got four assists in the game. I'll tell you what, guys, the aggressiveness on defense just hasn't been there this half. Not like it was in the first. Here's Mitchell. He wow. Up that time. Nice D from Doncic. Mitchell shows no. good. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Doncic passes to Irving. Denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Bridges. In there. The shot Go. from the low post is good. Bridges has got eight points. No doubt about it. He has done a ton to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in. Wow. Nothing but that. it from beyond the arc. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Johnson kicks to Mitchell. Another shot, and he could not ah. get that one to go. Out of contact, Kill me. and he'll go to the line for two. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Mavs. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. And the thing I've seen that I've really been impressed by is they've gotten everybody involved. Unselfishly making that extra pass, getting that ball to the right guy at the right time for the good shot. He's off um. on the first. And after making the playoffs a few years in a row, the Dallas Mavericks, Clark, missed the cut in 2023. Yeah, disappointing end to their season on multiple levels. And given the history of the Mavs, I would expect them to this. bounce back and get headed in the right direction soon. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. Green comes in for Williams. Kleba sets the screen for Irving. Kept alive. And 10 shot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. The Mavericks have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%. This is around the middle of the road. Rehydrate. Yeah, a, as a group, really a dismal year for them from the line last year. Wow. Down by the three. Here for the Mavericks. Powell comes in for Green, and Irving subbed in for Hardy. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Trendon Watford. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Lonnie Walker. Bridges, he's checked in for Cameron Thomas. And it's Mitchell in for Dinwiddie. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Hardaway is out there with Maxi Kleba. And it's Powell in at the five down. Oh, low. nice. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Here's Finney-Smith. Kicks it out to Mitchell. 
Donchich ah. with the block. Luka's sheer size makes him a mismatch for most guards. Kleba with a screen on Mitchell. Here's Doncic. Here's Kleba. Come on, man. We got to get that board. To Doncic. That wow. one goes. Count it. That's 28 points for Luka Doncic. Doncic giving you the full package. Superstar for sure. Mitchell finds Bridges. Johnson in the corner. To the paint. In there. Go on. Go. In by Bridges. And he just elevates and powers in the one hand. Mm -hmm. Textbook. I'm glad he didn't go overboard and try to do too much there. Yeah. Doncic looking it over. Powell the pass to Doncic. And Doncic throws it down. Luca with so many physical gifts. Taking flight right there. Mitchell against Doncic. Pass to Bridges. On the wing, Johnson. Ah. No good on the triple. Dallas leading by 21. Passes it to Hardaway. Doncic outside. Fires the three. Rebound, Brooklyn. Claxton's got 11 wow, rebounds in the game. We get a W around here, man. I'm tired Mitchell of Mitchell outside. Looking to end his cold spell. Mavericks with the rebound. 131 left in the fourth quarter. Let's look at the score differential in this one. I mean, a truly commanding and dominant performance here for Dallas. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And looking at the trajectory of the season, this is the first of two meetings on the year. So this will be a solid win to go up 1-0 in the season series here against Brooklyn. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Luka Doncic. And, you know, there was no stopping him tonight. Whenever he got the ball, he was looking to score, and rightly so. And it's Doncic missing. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Brooklyn. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Bridges dishes to Mitchell. He is wow. rebounded by Doncic. Takes a three. It's hauled in by Claxton. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Bridges kicks to Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. The Nets working the ball around now. Bridges inside the three-point line. Ah. Misses the jumper. Nobody wanted to shoot that. So we see the Mavericks taking the win here. They poured it out tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And, you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt, helps. And the execution was flawless. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.